Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking out a look at another small ship gone wild, and with all these ships that we're looking at, they're a beautiful combination of modded blocks with the small ship blocks to make an amazingly detailed piece. Now this is another ship by Peter Hammerman. Now this is the Polonares GS-1. It's a combination of a troop transport and a sort of gunship design. And I really got caught in its design and its sort of flow over the actual interior and exterior of how it actually works. So as you can see, we've got some really distinctive lines that actually make up this ship. And it's not a simple sort of rounded cockpit at the front. It's actually quite a square, quite an abrupt sort of ending to the cockpit here. And all this glass is actually part of the cockpit at the front. Now, as we come around to the sides, you can actually see its weapons sort of payload at the side. And this thing is packing some serious heat we've got some automatic gatling cannons we've got these sort of chain guns we've got scatter cannons we've got cameras so you can aim a little bit better as well as sage thrusters there embedded on in the side now the entrance to this ship is actually underneath here but we're going to continue turning around and if that's not enough weapons for you you've got two smaller gatling turrets that can be controlled from inside and you can actually see the belly extrudes underneath now these side pods here are a combination of both sage thrusters the industrial ones and a combination of these I believe the thrusters that can actually be added together to make these really beautiful ones that make an awesome sound now there's not been too much expense spared on the detail here we've actually got a lovely little air vent that vents into here and then some blocks that seem to vent further up as well just really adding to the detail now towards the back we've got some static sort of rocket launcher sniper cannons that are just really cool adding to that sort of defensive sort of capabilities of this ship you can see the whole slopes down there into the bottom and we've got a repeat of the same thing on the side now if we move to the upper deck area here you can see we've got these cool little windows that have also been insulated by using the actual walkway blocks as a sort of window shield or shelter around the actual ridge of it really pulling off that effect as well as a combination of an extra super armor sort of stealth looking blocks to add over the top just a really cool looking ship on the outside now on top you've got a final sort of air vent just adding to the overall effects and it's just a really interesting shaped ship something that's a little bit unusual but at the same time really cool and you've got the text there on the side let's actually take a look inside though so as we come under the hull we've actually got a little bit of an airlock here that is triggered by the buttons up at the top and as we do that it slides the door to the side just like on the Death Star style doors, I believe these are as well. And then in through here, through this sort of blast shield that's probably keeping the oxygen within this area, we have got a little chamber for the troops to sit in before they are dropped down to planetary level. Just really cool. You've got a red light, so maybe that could change to green when you become ready to actually access the drop zone and the troops just drop out the side. You've got a med bay as well for any injured personnel as well as some cargo containers for storage of extra ammunition. Now, if we drop down and we activate our legs, we can see that gravity is turned on and we can actually walk up to the upper level where the crew and there's some bedrooms and just some basic amenities for the crew and passengers as they're traveling probably from the large mothership down to the actual site of their attack. So we've got a toilet there, do a quick tactical poop before you go down. And in here we've also got some beds for a little bit of napping by the actual main crew themselves. So we've got three bunk beds there with six spots for actually the crew to be in. Now we've got a little shower here as well. Not really meant for long flights, this ship feels. It's much more just for quick glances or quick bits of transport between a larger and a smaller ship. So these are the windows that we're looking at from outside before. And you can see as we look through them, they're actually double layered and it's reinforced. Now this hull has been built with survival in mind. It's not just a simple good looking ship. It's actually got a reinforced hull. We've got heavy armor reinforced by light armor on the interior. So it really works well. You see as we look up there we've got a reactor with a little bit of a tire on there to add a bit more of an interesting looking effect so let's actually walk through here we've got the medical room so players could actually respawn in this ship and be dropped in again so it really emphasizes possible uses for a survival especially if it had this amount of mods in your survival world then it would be really cool now let's actually head up into the cockpit now what you may notice here is we've got some really interesting sort of displays, we've got some angled displays and they're actually showing readings of some sort of navigation chart and an astronomic analysis of some sort of maybe strike that the ship's doing and you've got a security camera here of possibly somewhere else, EVA screen and it's talking about some sort of security camera of someone outside, it's just really cool, I mean not really related to this particular ship but it's nice to have some details on these things and they've got warning action stations sort of symbol as well. Then you've got some different air vents and reactor output on this 
display. So let's actually pilot this thing and see exactly how it flies. But you can see how well and how much detail has gone into the flooring, the wiring of this thing to make it ready for actual use. So let's get into this cockpit and we'll actually power this thing up. So you can see it's a really stubby ship, but at the same time it feels just really nice and tight to actually fly. I can actually maneuver this thing really well. So you can see as we do a little bit of a bank here and we're actually accelerating up quite fast due to the amount of thrusters we're actually using but at the same time we're going to be using a lot of power to do this now let's actually have a go at some of our weapon systems we'll slow it down a little bit now first up we have i think it's like an automatic cannon you see we've got three of them and we're blocked first person with that big screen though that's the only problem i've noticed with this ship so you can see we've got that three armite cannon fire then we've got on two we have got some like sort of laser traces i believe they're the massive gatling guns actually firing and then you've got some auto cannons the 50 caliber auto cannons by the look of it and then onto the scatter guns and then you've got a button i'm not too sure about if i press number five i'll show you it turns on what i thought was some sort of self-destruct system but i guess it's a reactor or some other malarkey but i can always have a look at that as well then you've got number six that's going to activate and retract the pistons just another cool little feature changing just how this thing works really cool really nicely detailed I can't wait to see more creations just like this. Small ships that go wild are just something that really excite me. I mean, larger ships, you can't really have as much detail as you can in a smaller ship like this. So if you guys like this design, there's going to be a link down in the description so you can actually check this ship out for yourself. It's just a really beautiful creation using a lot of different modded blocks to create a really interesting looking effect. And I can't wait to see what creations you guys come up with in the future. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.